This skull is a record of a life lived over 40,000 years ago. It's a puzzle, a time capsule, and a blueprint. But how do we get from this silent, stony object to the startlingly lifelike faces we see in museums and documentaries? The journey from fossil to face is a fascinating blend of cutting-edge science and artistic interpretation. It all begins with the original fossil, often painstakingly excavated from a cave site. The first step is to create a perfect digital or physical copy. Today, scientists use high-resolution 3D scanners to capture every minute detail of the bone every crack, every ridge, every groove, without ever touching the fragile original. This digital model becomes the unchanging foundation for the entire reconstruction. Next, the science of anatomy takes over. This is where we answer the question, what was anchored to this bone? Forensic artists and paleoanthropologists know that the landmarks on a skull tell a precise story. The points where muscles attached are clearly visible as rough ridges. By studying these marks and comparing them to modern human anatomy, experts can digitally sculpt the major muscles of the face and neck, layer by layer. The robust skull of a Neanderthal dictates a specific musculature, thicker, more powerful jaws and neck muscles than ours. But a face is more than muscle. The next layer is fat and tissue. This is where the reconstruction moves from hard science to informed estimation. The shape of the skull provides strong clues. The large, wide nose opening strongly suggests a correspondingly large nose, an adaptation for cold climates. The pronounced brow ridge and the forward projecting mid-face create a distinctive profile that the artist must follow. There is no guesswork here. The bone dictates the fundamental architecture. Then comes the skin. This is where ancient DNA has revolutionized the field. Genetic analysis of Neanderthal remains has provided clues about potential pigmentation. They likely had lighter skin than their African ancestors, an adaptation to lower sunlight levels in Europe. Some gene variants suggest a possibility of red hair and fair skin. The artist uses this genetic data to choose realistic skin tones, freckling, and hair color. Finally, the finishing touches, the eyes and hair. The eye color is also an informed guess based on genetic evidence. The hair is based on the texture of other mammals adapted to cold environments, softened thick and wavy. The expression is the artist's final interpretation, but it is guided by everything they have learned about this individual's life. A skull can show signs of healed injuries or dental disease, which might hint at a life of hardship. The result is not a photograph. It is the most accurate hypothesis possible, a collaboration between hard data and artistic skill. It is a scientific tool that allows us to look into the eyes of our past and see not a monster, not a brute, but a person.